So what we've got here is an AR pistol. Oh, we're filming. Oh. Ah. Uh, hey, folks, how's it going? We're back here at BCA. Uh, Going to be talking about laser boresight collimator. We've got these on our website. Uh, so we're going to be discussing how to actually use this and why you would want to use this. Uh, this is a very effective tool. Uh, I have one personally at home for my own rifles. And what this does is it emits a laser and this little piece can be inserted into the muzzle end of the rifle. And I'll go over how to do it properly here in a little bit. But it goes into the end of the rifle, you turn on your laser, and it gives you a starting point where you can zero your optics. That way you're not going through a lot more ammo just trying to figure out where your rifle's hitting on paper. So it gives you a point to put the optics on. Uh, therefore, you can start with less ammo trying to zero that optic to that rifle. This laser could be used for almost every site you have that you look through. Um, scopes, red dot sites, holographic sites, um, iron sites, flip up sites. All these sites, this laser can be used with. And what it is, is you have your, your, your different sizes here that I'll, that I'll show right now. This is for all the different, uh, the different size calibers that you have. And as you can see here, it goes from really, really big to your small, your, your, your 0.177 calibers, your 22 long rifle calibers. So you have your, your different, different sizes here for your different widths of barrels. Um, we have a 300 blackout and a 6.5 Grendel, and that's what we're going to be shooting, uh, showing at the uh, indoor range that, that we have here. So installing these is very, very easy. Again, it comes with its own Phillips head screwdriver. So each one of these comes with its own, uh, own uh, small thin screw that gets inserted into the back, the back side of the laser, okay? So once you get that screw in at, at, a, at, a, at a good spot, okay, you can use your Phillips head screwdriver to go ahead and continue rotating it as far as you need it to go. Now, the way these work, the way these work, all of these, these black pieces here, they're actually, uh, there's, there's slits along the side. And what these do, as this screw is going into the body, it is flaring out the piece of plastic. So what happens is when you, when you insert the tail end into the barrel, okay, you insert barrels that way, insert it into the barrel, and then when you spin this, you're spinning the laser on the screw itself. And the piece of plastic, the tail end back here, flares out and essentially hugs the inside of the barrel. It hugs the, the, the bore of the barrel. So now it's stabilizing the rear here Okay, your cone shape back here is what will go against the, either the flash hider or the actual crown of the barrel itself, and, and that'll keep the front end snug. So with your different pieces here on the back, and then the cone shape of the front of the laser will keep that aligned perfectly straight with the, the, the bore of that barrel. So range for, for the laser, meaning how far back do you want to be from your target uh, in order to use this. Um, people have a, their, their different practices. Um, some say 25 yards, some say 50 yards. Uh, it certainly depends on where you're able to sight this in. Uh, I, the way I've done it with my own rifles in the past, I've gone out to 25 yards, okay? And what I like to do is I'll place the laser uh, either right in the center of a target and then I'll adjust my sights to about two inches above that, directly above that, or straight up simply just place your laser two inches above the target and then move your sights to the laser. Um, it, it, this is mainly this is better for a hundred meter, hundred meter, excuse me, hundred yard um, uh, zero. Once you start going way further away with this laser. Uh, it, it, it starts to really widen the laser, so actually getting that center point uh, on the target 
is, is difficult. So I do not suggest going 100 yards away from your target with this. Um, certainly anywhere from 25 to 50 yards. Uh, and, and this small tool here, simple and very effective. So now that we've seen how to put this together, uh, how to operate it, let's go out to the range and uh, let's go ahead and put this to use, see how it's done. So as we discussed earlier, we're gonna go ahead and putting the laser bore sight on the barrel to go ahead and sight in the scope. So I've put on here, I've got a 6.5 Grendel barrel. And what I'm gonna be doing is I put the, the tip that comes with the kit uh, I've gone and already pre-measured it, so I know this one's going to fit in there. And as we talked about earlier, uh, I, I've set it to where it's going to be nice and snug in the barrel. Okay, so it's, it's still able to go in. All right. Once I have it in there where, where I know it can't go in anymore, I'll back it up just a little bit so I still have some play in there. And I'll go ahead and tighten by spinning the laser. So what that's doing is that it's pulling that tip in and the tip itself is, is spreading out. Okay, so it's becoming tighter in the bore of the barrel. So as I'm doing that, it's getting tighter. Okay, now these laser bore sights that we have can be, um, it, the laser is, it's factory set to be as straight as possible. Okay. So that being said, the entire laser, once it's in the barrel, there's no up or down. Uh, it, the, the battery housing doesn't have to be in a certain direction. Um, it's going to be in the same spot. Um, just for ease though, I like to put the battery compartment up on top. That way I can see it and I can get to it when I go to turn it on. Once that laser's in there snug, it's not gonna move. You can, you can give it a little push with your fingers. Nothing's gonna happen. Once I see that it's in there nice and snug and it's not moving, I'll go ahead and I'll turn on the laser just by turning the battery compartment. I'll use my hand to, uh, to make sure that the laser is on. And um, now that it's on, uh, I'm going to stand behind the uh, rifle and make sure that I'm on target. Now that we've set the laser bore sight in the muzzle end of our barrel, we can come back here to the back side of our optics in our rifle. And as discussed earlier, we're, all we're going to do is place the, the reticle of the scope onto that laser out there. Again, it's not, uh, it, it, this laser bore sight does not automatically make the scope zero to the rifle. It just brings that reticle to a, a, a closer spot. That way you're not using as much ammo. So it's something as easy as you're coming back here. You're going to stand behind your rifle just as if you were getting ready to aim. Now on my target back there, I can see where the laser is on the target and I can see where my reticle is just underneath that laser. And with a few adjustments, just like that, that quickly. Now I've set the reticle, the, the, very, the very center of that reticle on my red laser out there. Now I know that my rifle is going to fire with this scope in the general area of that red laser. I'm not using as much ammo to first find out where my scope is pointing, where my rifle's hitting. I've got a general area, I'm not using as many rounds. Now from here, once I remove the laser from the, from the muzzle, I can go ahead and start using my three round, five round shot groups, whichever one you prefer. You can use your shot groups to now really refine that scope, make sure that that scope is actually right where uh, your rifle is hitting, right where you're looking at in your scope. So I saw the laser being worked on on the scope on uh, AR, and as we discussed earlier, it also works on your red dot sights, holographic sights. Right here, I've got a, a holographic sight uh, on a 300 blackout. So I had to change the tip out uh, to the one size larger than the 6.5 Grendel. Same exact thing, you're gonna work it in there until it's snug. You're going to twist it so you can feel that the, 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 the plastic bit, the, the, the prongs stretch out. So now it's solid in the back. Push that up front here, solid in the front. Turn that on, make sure it's not moving. Real solid there, make sure that laser's on. Yep, the laser's on. Laser's at the target. Now I'm ready to zero that holographic sight or red dot sight 
or even your iron sights to this barrel right here. That's it for the red laser. If uh, you like this laser bore, bore sight collimator that we have, go ahead and highlight and copy the SKU that we have in the description. Paste it on our website. It'll go right to it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. We're also on Instagram and Facebook, so go ahead and follow us on there. Y'all be safe out there. Be safe in the woods, and we'll see you next time.